Welcome back to Trojan Sports Now. Welcome into our interview segment. Today we're joined by softball freshman third baseman Katie Webb. <laughs> Katie, welcome into the show and thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule uh, to join us today. And man, this show has been taken over by softball <laughs> players through the last four weeks. We've had softball players on. You guys must be doing something good. We're trying to. We're, I mean, we're playing good right now. We got a good win yesterday and we won two to nothing and we just, we won the whole game. Um, it was a 0-0 ball game until the bottom of the seventh and Stephanie Snyder hit a walk off two run home run so that just jacked us up even more with the win so it was a good win last night. Yeah I was there and then it was cold and it started out really warm then it got really cold <laughs> the shadows started creeping onto the field and the temperature started dropping when she hit that home run it didn't really matter. Nope got, we all got that adrenaline going again so it was good. You know you're a freshman and and Coach Mullins has inserted you into the starting lineup. So that's such a, I mean, she, that has to show that she has a lot of confidence in you to be able to do something like that. Yeah, and I mean, I've worked hard. Um, and it's just senior leadership has definitely helped me in my process of learning how to, learning the way of what to do and everything like that. And really everybody, it's just a team effort. We love each other. We have great chemistry on the field. And it's just a good, we have a good mesh of everybody and we, we want to win, we want to play for each other, we want to fight for each other, and it's just been a good experience so far, and I hope it keeps going well. So, You guys are about 25 games into the season, so mm -hmm. I'd say this is a good gauge to kind of tell the difference between high school softball and college softball. I mean, what's the difference between the two levels? I mean, it's just better competition, um, better pitchers, better fielders, better everything, really. Um, and I've been kind of struggling with my hitting, but I've made some adjustments, um, did good with that. And then we, it's just with – there's nothing really different with the team aspect, I guess, like because in high school you're like sisters and in college it's even more. Like you, you have to fight through the fall and all the conditioning and weightlifting you have to do. And you just – through that you get a lot stronger and a lot tied to get more tied together. And so it's just – it's – it's different, but it's still the same in the same way. It's just a little bit more difficult with the skill level and everything like that. But with the team aspect, it's better because it's you're you're, I guess, more like a sisterhood foundation. I guess I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Yeah, I get, I understand. <laughs> and then uh, you're from Salem, Alabama. I heard you say earlier. Yes. And that's between Auburn and uh, Phoenix City. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty that's a pretty hot area for softball, especially with Auburn. They're just such a good team. I mean, just talk about that growing up and getting into softball. I mean, how'd that start for you? Um, I started playing really from the time I could learn how to swing a bat. Um, I had an older brother, and he, we always played outside in the backyard together. And w until I was like five, I didn't play like on a team. But when I started playing on the team, my mom was my coach, I did, and I just fell in love with it. And from the time I was five, I just w knew I wanted to play in college. I knew I wanted to continue my career, get help, get scholarships and stuff like that for college. And it was just great coming to Troy. I mean, going coming from a high school that's, we're, we were good, but like nobody, you always went to JUCOs basically. But going from high school straight to D1, it was a big accomplishment for me. And that's what I knew I wanted to do. So that was a one of my greatest accomplishments so far. So. And then you played a, under your mom. I mean, how cool was that to be able to play uh, sports underneath your mom, your parents? Yeah, it was it was great. She was she's a I love my mom. She's the best person in my life. Um, but she she helped me grow and helped me learn how to, you know, play the game the right way when I was young to help me develop how to play when I'm all, where I am now. So I have mm -hmm. her to thank for that. And then uh, you have you have a brother. I mean, uh, do you, you guys play any other sports besides baseball, softball around the house? No, not really. I mean, he played football a little bit when he was younger, um, but nothing serious. And we were baseball and softball. That's all we knew year round. And he actually went to Alabama and played for a little bit. And then he's about to graduate in May. So he he's my role model. He is who w made me want to work hard. Um, and he's just my hero. Um, I love him. He's my big brother, you know, so I want to do everything he does. Did he also play third base? No, uh, he was an outfielder. He's a lot faster than I am, so <laughs> <laughs> he's really fast. So he was a center fielder, left fielder, so. But would you say you had the better reactions? I mean, you play the hot corner. Oh, yeah, for sure. I've learned a lot from him, but I feel like I can outplay him. <laughs> and then uh, uh, you throw right-handed, but you hit left-handed. Is That's that correct? Right. I mean, mm -hmm. how did that start? That's kind of... I don't really know how it started, but I, my 
philosophy, I guess, is my brother was right-handed, so when I was younger, I feel like I would mirror him. So mirroring him, he's right-handed, and so I just picked up the bat and did it the opposite way he did. And my dad or mom never changed it, just kept me left-handed. So that's, I never was told to hit left-handed or throw right-handed. It just, like I said, I feel like it was just watching my brother play and mirroring him, so I decided to be a left-handed hitter. Uh, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, now you're here at Troy, and, and what do you study here at Troy University? Um, I'm a physical education major, so and I think I'm going to minor in coaching because I know I want to be able to coach one day when I get done playing softball. So, so a high school coach or a college coach? I mean, or? I would probably start out in high school, but I would like to work my way up to college if I can. Um, but just so I can stay in the game because I love it. You can't find anything else I love more. So. So coaching, and, and you're <clears throat> under a pretty good coach, Coach Beth Mullins. So what do you think that uh, before your time here at Troy has done that you could potentially take from her and incorporate it into your game and, and kind of learn when you become a coach one day? Really, almost everything she teaches is something that I agree with. I mean, the way she teaches hitting, the way she does fielding, and she's actually helping a lot with pitching, and they've done so well this year. So she's just an all-around great coach. Um, I respect her very much. She's just, um, I don't know really, but everything she teaches us, I agree with, and that's good as a player for to take in. Like, it's just she's not somebody that just says something and doesn't really know what she's saying. Like she, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to teach you how to do it. And if you don't understand, she's very easy to go to and ask questions. She's just a great coach to do stuff like that. And then uh, I'm, I'm going to jump back to, to actual softball for a moment. You opened up, you guys opened up your first conference series last weekend, and that was your first bit of conference play. Mm -hmm. It's a tough conference here in the Sun Belt. Uh, so what was that experience like to finally get a, to get some to play in, in the Sun Belt Conference? Um, it was, it felt a little bit different to me just because it, it was the second season of our season because we started conference. And so we wanted to go out there and Coach Mullins told us, be, be 1-0. and Don't worry about the last game. Don't worry about the next game. Worry about this game. Be present. And um, we did take the loss on the first one, but we came back and won the second one. We run-ruled them in the second game, and then we lost the third one. But this weekend, I feel like we're going to come out and play, and we're going to do well and just try to be 1-0 and every day. So that's what we're going to try to do. Yeah, then you guys, <laughs> got, you guys got back home after an 11-game road trip. When you get home from a road trip like that in college, besides classes, I know you have to go to class, and that takes up a lot of your time, but what do you like to do to kind of help you relax? When you um, I just like to sit around and watch Netflix, really, and talk to my friends that I hadn't seen, because um, I, I live with some of my friends that actually I went to high school with, and they don't play softball, so I like to get back and catch up with them when I'm not there, and I miss them a lot when I'm not there, so I just sit at home and watch, or talk to them and watch TV, and just, catch up on some homework maybe or do some laundry. Just relax. I mean, just kind of do nothing really. So uh, final question, mm -hmm. what is your favorite non-softball activity to do? Probably ride my horse. I'm a country girl. I get joked about a lot. The way <laughs> I talk, I'm really Southern. Um, but I like to ride my horse. His name's Chance and I miss him too, not being able to be home, but I like doing that. So being outside. There we go, Katie Webb, lover of horses, <laughs> and also the starting third baseman as a freshman on the Troy softball team. So, Katie, good luck to you guys this weekend in Sunbelt Conference play, and thank you for joining us on our interview segment. Stick around for more Trojan Sports Now coming your way. <laughs>